Hello, I'm Tamara Page and I am MD and conductor for The Wedding Singer. There are 12 people in this orchestra. Ooh, <laughs> um, I'd have to say probably Saturday Night in the City. That's, I mean, it's a really long number, but it's just got so much power behind it. And it's just, it's a great piece. Lots happening on stage and a lot happening down here in the pit. Um, I'd say yes, mainly because of all the underscoring. We have to come out of underscore during their conversations right back into the groove. There's also a click that I have to use at some point during the piece. So having to line up the tempos and hit the click right at the precise time to make everything work makes it a challenge. Well, this section that we're looking at right here is our winds and brass. And you see Aaron over there setting up his what, five or six different instruments that he plays. He plays the uh, oboe, the English horn, the flute, the uh, uh, berry sax, and the tenor sax. Perfect. Yes, uh, yes. I should know it's in the score. <laughs> And uh, we're not pictured here, we have another uh, horn player here, Chaz, who will be playing alto sax, clarinet, and flute. And here you see all of these amazing trumpets here set up uh, by Jason Ford, our trumpeter. He's playing literally all of these horns during the show. So we can go around this way. Whoops, let me show you the most important part of the pit. It's this right here, the snack table. That's why I keep coming back, but uh, <laughs> Chaz is, ooh, Chaz, you brought the food? Yeah. So what happens is is uh, the members in the pit, it's a tradition of Moonlight that goes back decades, but the musicians all sign up and take turns bringing food. So we eat really well down here, and uh, it looks like Chaz has set us up with some, is that Mexican food? No, Mediterranean. Mediterranean, ooh, okay, so we're really gonna eat well tonight, yes. Okay, we'll go around this way. And this is a huge pit, by the way. Most theaters do not have a pit this big. Not big enough for a snack table, too. <laughs> uh, three, well, this is my third. The first show I did was Cinderella last year. That was an amazing experience. And it was my first time as an MD and conductor for a professional level show. And it was fantastic. Um, and then I came back and did the youth production of Mary Poppins with over 60 kids, ages, I think, 10 to 17. <laughs> It was great. I mean, I'm a, I'm a teacher. I love kids anyway, so it was uh, like being right at home with all of those kids. It was great. So now we go over here. We have three keyboardists for this show. Michelle is here, and she's also played uh, other Moonlight shows, but she's playing Keys 2 for the show. We have Keys 1 uh, there with Michelle, another Michelle. We have two Michelles. And in the back, we have uh, Chance Valdez, who's playing Keyboard 3. So literally all of the sounds you hear, uh, the string sounds, some of the percussion sounds, um, is all coming from our keyboard players. Okay, let's go this way. Usually, yeah, two to three, um, especially when you don't have live strings and our, you know, we don't have like an extensive brass section. So a lot of times the keyboards will cover some of those parts. But with this show um, being 80s, it's got a, a real authentic sound. So it, it requires a lot of synthesized type of sounds, which they, they all have like hundreds of different sounds that they're making throughout this show. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, this is my area up here. Can you see there? That's where I go and I stand so then I can see everything on the stage uh, and it can see me down in the pit as well. That's my area. And then we come over here. This is very empty right now. Most of our guitars have other gigs and <laughs> they're on their way here from other gigs. But this is where our guitarists sit. We have three guitars for this show. Um, and we have a bassist who is also over there. But let's go this way so we can see Don. He's ready, he's ready for us. Go around to this side. And this is where our percussion and our drummer lives. We have two percussionists. We have a, uh, Andrew who's playing all of these in instruments that you see here. Um, just creating the magic, you know, he's doing a lot of different things here. And then we have Don, who is a veteran performer for Moonlight. Oh, look, and here's our bases coming back with food. Hi. Yes. <laughs> That's Joel. But this is Don, who is holding it down. I first met Don uh, when I did Cinderella. He was the drummer for that, and it was a wonderful experience. But he's been working here for Moonlight. How long have you been working here? Ten years he's been working here and playing shows. Just absolutely incredible. Come look at his setup. Be careful right here. Look at this little mic, you like this little mic? Here, come closer so you can speak into it. 
Hi, I'm Don Cooley. It's an exciting musical. I'm per- basically I'm thrilled to be playing with a wonderful cast, wonderful orchestra. Amazing. Tambora Page uh, as conductor is an inspiration, and a lot of the beats are '80s rock. I lived these beats, <laughs> so I, I feel very at home with it. And uh, I really, there's no holding back on this musical. I really go for it. He really does. I mean, it's it's jam packed. It's energetic. It's it's a really really fun show. And um, yeah, I do have to say something else about the pit. They're not all here, but I'm really. This pit is really special to me because I have uh, three former students who are playing down here. Um, and I have two current students. They are in high school. Our bassist just turned 18 a few days ago. And our guitar three uh, is also a senior. So it's it's like a family affair <laughs> down here. But I'm really proud of, of being able to bring all of that together um, here at the Moonlight again. I've been teaching for 26 years now, so I have some former students that are professionals and are teachers and they travel the world and um, I'm just really fortunate that some of them were able to be back for this show. That's so hard. Okay, um, I am going to say, prob- for me growing up, it was always both. I can't just say one or the other. It was Prince and Michael Jackson. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. Like, yeah, absolutely. And you may, you'll you hear a little bit of Prince in this show. Our guitar player he likes to throw Prince in on one of the songs. Like, <laughs> I won't say what song it is, but every time he does, I look down and I'm like, yes. So we're incorporating some of those other 80s vibes into the show. We're doing things that aren't even written in the in the score, but it's uh, it's really making it fun. Well, I didn't learn about Prince until later, but Michael Jackson. Yes. Uh, and David Bowie mm-hmm. was huge. Uh, but friends of mine would introduce me to these people. I was mostly a big band jazz drummer, knew about big band jazz, and then a friend of mine would say, Cooley, you got to hear David Bowie. Right. Hey, you got to hear Michael Jackson. And uh, I appreciate it more now than mm-hmm. I did back then. Mm-hmm.